What's up YouTube? I want to give you guys a quick look at the sump that I built for my 29 gallon BioCube. Um, I know the BioCube comes with a filtration built in the back but I think there's a lot more benefits that come from having a sump versus having uh, that small wall in the back uh, to hold all your equipment which is another reason why I kind of went ahead and built this. Uh, space is starting to become tight on my BioCube so I wanted to ease up some of the space and uh, get some of the equipment off of the back of my tank. So um, just to talk about this thing real quick, um, it's 16 long by 16 wide, so it's a cube, but it's only 15 high, and that's about as big as you can get inside the standard BioCube stand. So I fit this to, uh, I made this to fit inside there, kind of perfect, you know, where you slide it in, you barely have any room on the sides. Um, so. Uh, total capacity of this sump should be about 16.5 gallons and I have the baffle set in the refugium at 9 inches which should give me an operation of about 10 gallons so I'll be adding about 10 gallons to my system which will still keep me underneath the 40 gallons uh, to still be considered a nano system um, here in the first section you can see I have built in uh, filter sock here I kinda made a box around it just to keep the splashes of the filter sock uh, inside this section and so it doesn't get all over the back wall. Um, from the end of this to over here, it's about 12 inches, and from here to here, it's seven and a quarter, which gives me plenty of room to get the skimmer that I want for the BioCube, which is gonna be most likely an eShops S120. Uh, it handles um, between a 40 and 120 gallon tank, and the dimensions on it are seven by six, so it'll be seven long and six wide, so it'll fit in here just perfect, and I'll have an extra five inches left over here on this end, or in between uh, the two ends and the skimmer, so I should be able to fit two reactors here on the end, um, one to run a blend with uh, GFO and carbon, and maybe possibly some uh, bio pellets on this tank too, or just, you know, have one for the carbon and one for the GFO. Not sure which direction I'm going in, but then you can see here, I notched out this hole to kind of imitate my trigger system sump. So when it comes into here, it'll flow into my refugium. And my refugium section is 8x8. Eight eight. So, and the hole that I notched out is high enough to have a deep sand bed in here uh, without it getting, you know, disturbed or anything like that. Uh, so it should be pretty good. Um, over here, like I said, this wall is 9 inches high. So that'll be my height level control for this sump. It'll come over, go through the bubble trap, and then come back up to the top. And here in this section, um, it's eight by five and a half, which should give me plenty enough room to add um, two mag 350s in here, uh, one for the display and one for the reactors that I plan on plugging in. I'm probably gonna keep this tank um, plumbed with hoses versus the hard plumb like I have on my 90 so it'll make things a little easier uh, get this set up quicker but yeah guys I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at this sump refugium that I built now I give you guys uh, the professionals out there I give you guys a lot of credit because this wasn't easy you know if your cuts ain't perfect um, you're gonna have a little gap and then you gotta use silicone to fill in the gap and but you know not bad for a guy that just used one of those you know I don't have the table saws or nothing like that set up to make this but I don't know guys I just thought I'd share this with you uh, if you're ever thinking about building one for your bio cube this would fit inside there perfect I think it's more than adequate because at operation it's 10 10 gallons and it can hold up to 16.5 so that allows six and a half gallons to drain down from the uh, from the display into the sump, which is roughly about 3.75 inches off the top of the bio cube, which is a lot of water. So you know you can basically do a water change out of the sump versus uh, sticking anything inside the display. So that's a good thing about making it oversized too. But I don't know, guys quick look at the sump refugium for the BioCube 29. Happy reefing.